do-it-yourself self-service for your Motorola phone. If your phone doesn't work normally and you can't get to the regular settings menu, or if you're interested in some of the hidden areas of your phone, the fast boot menu may be of interest to you. Fastboot is a diagnostic and engineering tool loaded on your device that gives you access to some of the specialized features. It is a separate startup utility that does not activate the entire Android operating system. However, it should be used with care. Some of those features are used to modify your phone software and we won't be covering them. In fact, we warn you not to use them without really knowing what you're doing you can ruin your phone. At the same time, some features are useful for troubleshooting and we'll focus on those. If you have ever entered DOS mode on a PC, well Fastboot is a little bit like that. Let's see what we can do using the Fastboot menu. To enter Fastboot, turn off your phone first. Then, Press and hold the volume down button and the power button until the device turns on in bootloader mode. Some older models may not power on into fastboot until you release the two buttons. If yours is staying dark while pressing the volume down and power buttons, release them both at the same time. The screen might look different on these older versions, but will have the same options. The fastboot options do work a little differently on different models. Newer devices use the volume buttons to switch between options and the power key to select. Older devices use volume down to navigate and volume up to select. If you enter the Fastboot menu by accident, or you've completed your operation in Fastboot, you can choose Normal Power Up on the older versions, or Start on the newer versions to turn on your phone. Recovery, or Recovery Mode, is a sub-menu of Fastboot. You can sometimes use this mode to restart your phone if it won't start up normally. It does not activate the entire Android operating system. Select Recovery Mode, and seconds later you will see the Android robot on the screen. Then, hold down the power button and press the Volume Up button to activate the Recovery menu. On newer devices, simply select Recovery Mode using the power key. To recover a phone that won't start normally, select Reboot System Now. To exit recovery mode, you have several options. You can start your phone by selecting Reboot System Now, select Power Down to turn your phone off, or to go back to the fast boot menu, select Reboot to Bootloader. Let's shift the focus to Wipe Cache Partition, also in the Recovery menu. It will remove any temporary files that may be causing problems with your phone. It will not delete any of your personal data. Select Wipe Cache Partition to start. Once it's done, Reboot System Now will be highlighted on the screen. Wipe Data Factory Reset can be another important tool for troubleshooting your phone. This action will not only clear the cache partition, but also remove your personal data. You will be starting over as if the phone had never been activated. Therefore, we recommend that you back up any essential data before taking this step. Note that if your phone's operating system has been upgraded, it will stay on the current, newer software. To perform a factory data reset, select the option and then select user data and personalized content. You can also do a cache clearing or a factory data reset in the settings menu when your phone is normally on. To learn more about your Motorola phone, 
Watch our DIY series videos for more troubleshooting steps. And thanks for watching.